everybody, this is Shadow Ash here, and today on this uh, video, I am going to do something really big. Now, as you may know, I've done some updated collection, and I recently did a DS collection. Um, I grew my uh, video game collection, and I was thinking of doing like uh, PS1, PS2, GameCube, Wii, but that would be too much, so I figured, what the hell, I'll show off all of my games. As you can see, I got I have a pretty big collection. Yep. Um then pretty much after this I am going to do my handheld games, uh which is basically my Game Boy Color games, Game Boy Advance games, 3DS games and so forth. Not doing my DS games. But yeah. Anyway, uh just a quick view. Now, we're going to start from this pile from right to left. So, let's start off with uh, my PlayStation 1 games. Alright, Crash Bandicoot 3 Warp. This is my favorite Crash Bandicoot game, as well as my favorite 3D platformer. Um, I love this game. I loved playing it as a kid, and I am definitely doing an LP of this game. So, yeah. Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. I did a little walkthrough of this game, but it was kind of horrible, but I still enjoy playing this game. I may, I finally beat it. Yep. I got all the dragon eggs. It took me for, like, many years, but I finally did it. Final Fantasy 9. Um, now, what's unique about um, the Final Fantasy games on the PlayStation, they are very long games, so they come in different discs. Uh, this game has four discs, so it's that long. Uh, it's a really awesome Final Fantasy game, and I have to say, this is my favorite Final Fantasy game ever. Um, I mean, it is right above Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy IV, thirteen, um, and so forth. So, yeah, I love this game. It's really damn good, and I'm definitely LPing that, if you guys already knew from the LP trailer. Rugrats, Search for Reptar. Um, this is probably one of those few Nickelodeon games that I actually like. Um, it's not too bad, but the physics are pretty bad. Very bad. But, I'm still gonna LP this game, so, yeah. Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. This game is pretty good, but it's too damn hard. Which is probably why I'm not gonna LP this game. I mean, I like this game. The bosses are pretty good, but like I said, uh, the difficulty is annoying. Spyro the Dragon. Uh, this game is very good. This is the game that I'm really looking forward to LPing. Um, I might record this one either today or some other day, but once I get my ass uh, going with the Let's Play, then I'll do it. Digimon Rumble Arena, um, what's very f surprising, uh, one of my, uh, videos of this game has got the most views, I'm like, it's got like over, like, I believe over a thousand or three thousand, I don't know, I haven't checked, but, boy, I can understand, boy, um, I bet a lot of you guys really miss me playing this game, but I'm not LPing it. Crash Bash, like Digimon Rumble Arena. Uh, I am not LPing this game because, uh, the story is kind of stupid. But it is fun to play, especially with, uh, three other players, but it's pretty good. Digimon World 3, yeah, as you can tell, um, the case is kind of, like, uh, screwed up. But, yeah, um, but it's a cr it's a really good RPG, uh, one of my favorites on the PlayStation. And it's not that bad. Um, the graphics could use a little bit, uh, fixing, but, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna redo this one. Um, I did do five episodes of Digimon World 3, but I'm too lazy to go back and do it. Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage, a lot of you guys really, some of you pretty much enjoyed my, uh, Talisman Let's Play of this game. And it's actually my favorite in the Spyro series. Still, I love this game. I really need to get all the or some of the orbs so I can uh, fight Ripto. 
Okay, that that is my PlayStation One games. Uh, now we can go to the my other ones, my PlayStation Two games. Final Fantasy Twelve. Um, out of all the Final Fantasy games, this game is all right. I guess it's not bad. Um, it's not great. It's just okay. Um. I really don't like the combat in this one. Out of all the Final Fantasy games, um, 12 probably has, uh, the worst combat in, uh, the series. But it does have a decent story, um, of course you got characters like Vaughn, Ash, and of course everybody's favorite character, Baffler, Baffler, or what's his name? I really have a hard time pronouncing it, but yeah. Kingdom Hearts, um... This game, um, is very, very good, um, but it is too damn hard. But I, I like the game, the story's pretty cool, and some of the levels are very annoying, most specifically the Atlant, the Al Atlantica story, but yeah. I'm not helping this game, because like I said, it's too damn hard. Which is why I'm having trouble beating it. Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy, um... I really like this game. This is a very awesome 3D platformer. Um, I'm definitely LPing this one, um, because it's just so awesome, and you can tell how much I'm a big Naughty Dog fan. So, yeah, I'd really like to get Jack 2 and Jack 3. And speaking of LPs, since I have Final Fantasy 12 now, I can do Final Fantasy 12. So, yeah. Shadow the Hedgehog. I don't give a rat's ass what all the reviewers, critics say. Shadow the Hedgehog is an awesome game. I absolutely love it. And, I mean, I don't mind the guns and the stuff in this game. It's, it's just your average 3D Sonic game, and I like 3D platformers. This game, however, oh my god, I just love it. And I'm definitely helping that one. Mortal Kombat Armageddon, a game that absolutely disappointed me. This game has terrible gameplay. The story is stupid. But there are some good things I can say about Armageddon. Uh, it has a character customizer, which I'm a big fan of. And I also like um the motor combat, which is... Kind of like a Mario Kart version of Mortal Kombat. Still, terrible game, but does have some okay features. Shadow of the Colossus, holy shit. This game is so damn annoying. Probably because um, it's, it's a big game, and I have a hard time trying to find the first Colossi. But I don't care. Um, I really like this game. It's pretty, pretty underrated, so... I don't know if I'm going to LP Shadow of the Colossus. Sonic Heroes. I bet a lot of you guys are really looking forward to this one again. Because I did Team Rose. And as you can tell from the trailer, that means... Am I, which means I'm going to be either playing as Team Chaotix or Team Dark first. You'll see when this game comes out. By the way, it's a very awesome game. I don't care what some people say. It's pretty good. Kingdom Hearts 2, uh, my favorite Kingdom Hearts game, as well as my favorite exclusive on the PS2. This game is so awesome. And I am definitely LPing this game. I don't care what Square Enix says. Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Uh, this is my second favorite Mortal Kombat game, even though it's an adventure slash fighting game. Uh, the only... Sad thing about this game is that you have four playable characters. You have Liu Kang, Kung Lao, and of course Scorpion and Sub Zero. Uh, the game itself is really good. Possibly the best Mortal Kombat game on the PS2. It's also available on the Xbox. Buzz, the Mega Quiz. Um, if you're really into like trivia and stuff, this is this game is for you. And I do have the buzzers. Uh, which is in my, uh, case with my PS, extra PS3 controller, Xbox 360 controller, and most of my demo discs for my 360. Sonic Riders 2, Zero Gravity. I don't care for it. It's not that funny anymore. Seriously, it's not the best racing game. 
Crazy Taxi, this is one of the few games I got with my PS2. Um, this game is very addicting as hell. It's very cool. Um, and of course it's made by Sega. Uh, this game is now available on PlayStation Network and Xbox Live Arcade. But I'm not going to LP this game because it doesn't have an actual story to it. Star Wars Battlefront 2. I'm not really sure if I'm going to do this one, but it's really good, the fact that you can play as either Stormtrooper or Jedi. It's pretty cool. I like it. Drake of Cerberus Final Fantasy 7. This is a sequel to uh, Final Fantasy 7. According to the um, timeline, this game takes place after the events of Advent Children. Uh, the main character in this game is Vincent Valentine, who is um, the uh, main character in the game. I mean, why couldn't they make him the main character and not Cloud? Oh, well. Logic. The Sonic Mega Collection. Uh, basically, this game has a ton of old Sonic games on the Genesis and the Game Gear. And, of course, it has the original Sonic trilogy with Sonic and Knuckles, and some games, including the fun Dr. Robotnik's The Meme Machine. I thought that game was fun. However, I hate every single Game Gear game, except for Sonic Blast. That game was okay, I guess. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie video game. One of the few movie games that I actually like. Um, it's a pretty cool game. It's It's got, like, the feel of um, a 3D Mario game. But, yeah. But I'm not LPing this game because of uh, Nickelodeon shit. And I did forget to mention, uh, there will be an LP of Driga Cerberus, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, and Knuckles but not Spongebob. Read Shade of Memories. Okay, the Game Boy Advance version of this game is horrible, but I will admit the PS2 version is pretty good, but the gameplay is stupid, but the story is pretty good, and some of the voice acting is pretty good. Naruto Ultimate Ninja. Yes, as you can tell, I'm a Naruto fan. Uh, this game used to be very addicting, but now... I'm bored of it. But yeah, it's very boring now after you beat it. But yeah. Dual Masters Limited Edition. Basically what it means is you get free a free booster pack inside uh, this game. However, nobody gives a shit about it. But to me, it's a pretty good uh, um, card game based video game. It's pretty good. And I really like to see uh, the series get back. Come back. Sonic Riders, you probably heard me not talk about Sonic Riders 2. This game is pretty good, but it's not really that great. It's decent. And Family Guy, the video game. Speaking of which, a new Family Guy game came out a few months ago called Road to the Multiverse. But yeah, um, I really like to get this game. Uh, uh yeah, that game, but yeah. This game is pretty good. Uh, it has three different styles of gameplay. It has... Um, all around shooting, which is Stewie, beat em up, such to which is Peter, and stuff, which is Brian. So yeah, if you're a huge Family Guy fan, you gotta pick it up. It's pretty damn good. Anyway, so that is my PS2 collection. Now let's take a look at my GameCube collection, which is very small. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Now, as you probably may know, this game is my favorite Sonic game of all time. Yeah, it beats Shadow the Hedgehog. And I am definitely LPing this game, because, well, what do you expect? The Mega Man X Collection. Now, this one I wanted to get for quite a long time, because I'm a big Mega Man fan. Uh, this game has uh, six Mega Man games, plus another Mega Man game. It has um, all the X games from X1 to X6. Uh, X7 and X8 are, I believe, there for the PS2 only. Correct me if I'm wrong, but, yeah. Uh, I like the Mega Man series. I really need to play this game more. Um, I am definitely going to be doing Mega Man X4, since that one is pretty damn good. I'm not going to be doing any of the Super Nintendo Mega Man games, because they lack save. And you can probably tell what this is. The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. This game is very fun. Um, I like this game more than Ocarina of Time. And yeah, I'm definitely LPing this game. Please note that most Zelda games won't be as long as other Let's Players, but yeah. 
Super Smash Bros. Melee, um, anybody who has a GameCube has to have this game because this game is very awesome. But I'm gonna be honest, it's pretty good, but out of all the Smash Bros. games, this one is my least favorite. Oh, and by the way, this game will not be getting an LP. Pokemon Coliseum, I don't get what the fuss is about. I mean, this game is kind of underrated. I like to get XD Yellow Darkness, but yeah. I'm a fan of the Gen 3 games, so yeah. Uh, of course, you, uh, basically, it looks like a 3D version of Pokemon, because you get to catch, um, Pokemon known as Shadow Pokemon, and you purify them. And once you do that, you can transfer them to this, from this game to Ruby and Sapphire. But, still, it's a very awesome game. Um, definitely recommend it for, for a hardcore Pokemon fan such as myself. And the last GameCube game is Super Mario Sunshine. Yep, I had to get this game because, well, I'm a Mario fan. Uh, this game is pretty good, but it's, um, annoyingly hard. Probably because of the different gameplay. But I really don't mind. Flood is a very interesting character, and this game introduced my favorite character in the Mario series, Bowser Jr. Alright, now it's time up for the next, um, pile, my pile of Wii games. Let's get that crappy game out of the way. Super Mario Galaxy 2, um, I don't give a crap what the fiery joker, aka Josh Scorcher, says. This game is awesome. I mean, I did play Super Mario Galaxy 1, and it's pretty awesome, too. Uh, this is my favorite 3D Mario game of all time, because it reminds me of Super Mario World. A 3D version of Super Mario World. And you can't have a Mario game without Yoshi. Yeah. I'm definitely LPing that game. Same goes for, uh, Super Mario Sunshine. And why did I put it with my game games? But, yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up! Oh boy, this game is pretty underrated, in my opinion. Um, basically, it's a, um, fighting game with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and it does act like a brawl ripoff, but it is pretty good. I really like it. It's pretty cool, and I don't give a crap about that new, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, movie, uh, that TV show by Nickelodeon. Still, yeah. New Super Mario Brothers Wii, this game is pretty cool, especially if you're playing this game... Uh, with some friends. It's really awesome to play. And I might do an LP of this game by myself. So, yeah. It is pretty fun. Uh, once I get through, um, one of the few worlds, then I will do it. I will get into Super Mario. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Dr. Noko vs. Capcom. Uh, this is an okay fighting game. Not one of the greatest, but it's, a uh, but it's pretty good. Uh, I might do an LP of this game, but it's probably going to be arcade mode. Uh, basically, uh, it has a lot of Capcom characters. And this game, this is the game that introduced me to Zero. You know, from Mega Man X. So, yeah. Mario Kart Wii. If I had to choose between this game and Mario Kart 64, Double Dash, or any of the other ones, I'd pick this one. Why? Well, I like the courses, um, I like the fact that you could ride a bike in this game. And what's really cool is, um, it has online, and you have nothing to worry about with the lag. Oh, yeah. Now, it's sad. Sonic and the Secret Rings is a horrible game. Worst game in my collection, but I'm not selling it. Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure. Uh, this game is alright, I guess, but it's pretty damn easy. Probably the easiest Pokemon game I've beaten. I beat this game in like four days. But it is fun as hell. Still, I'm still LPing this game. No more heroes. I probably may or may not do this one because, well, I hate it because, uh, I really hate the fact that they don't give you a chance to pause uh, every time. But, yeah. But still, it's a pretty awesome game, and I like to get No More Heroes, too. So, 
Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. Uh, it's actually a very interesting game. I really don't have All-Stars Racing Transform. I'd like to get that game. Um, I might get it on the Xbox, either the PS3 or Xbox 360. I don't know, but yeah. I still like uh, this game, by the way. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. I got this game when I got my Wii. Um, I like the DS version of this game, but it's still pretty good. That's all I gotta say. Sonic and the Black Knight. One of the few Sonic games on the Wii that I actually like a lot better than that piece of shit that I stomped on. But, yeah. It's really awesome. I really enjoy it. So, um, yeah. It's pretty awesome. But I'm not outpaying it. Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. This is probably going to be the only Mario and Sonic game that I'll actually do. Because it's pretty awesome. But yeah. It's London, damn it. I mean. It's London, damn it. I bet Mario and Sonic is going to have some tea and crumpets after this. But who cares. Super Smash Bros. Brawl, yeah, this game is awesome. Best fighting game ever. I love it. Main reasons why I wanted a Wii, and it's pretty cool. Definitely doing the Subspace Emissary. Pokemon Battle Revolution, I kind of found this game to be pretty good. I mean, I never played Pokemon Stadium or Pokemon Stadium 2, and of course I have Pokemon Coliseum. This game is pretty good, um, full 3D graphics. And I am very disappointed that Gen 5 didn't make a, um, a Wii version, like, a Pokemon game like this on the Wii. Don't disappoint me, Wii U. Mario Super Sluggers, if you love baseball, you're gonna love this game, and oh boy, do I love it. Uh, basically, it's just like a game called Mario uh, Superstar... <laughs> Mario Superstar Baseball. And, um... I have to say, this game is pretty awesome. has a lot of Mario characters. Damn. And you get to play as your me. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate... Uh, that. Sorry. Naruto Shippuden Clash of Ninja Revolution 3. This game is pretty damn good for, for a Naruto game. Because it has a lot of characters, and it also has my favorite character, Itachi. I love Itachi. But yeah, I'm not doing an LP of this game. Why? TV Tokyo crap. Rabbits Go Home! This is a game that I might actually do, because this game is fucking hilarious. This game is funny as hell. I mean, it's just funny as hell. I mean, they did renew the Rayman series, but now the Rabbits have their own franchise. Oh, boy. And my next game is Okami. This game is very underrated, and it is awesome. One of the best games I've played on the Wii so far. Um, rumor has it this game is going to be released for the PS... I believe this game is already on the PS3. Not really sure. But, yeah. Still, buy this... Buy the Wii version. Do not buy the PS2 version. So, yeah. But I'm definitely going to LP Okami. So, yeah. That is my uh, Wii games. Um... I am going to cut off this video, and I will see you guys for part two of my video game collection.